Hello everyone, here we are again in tonight's video. I will show you how we can check integrally with the multimeter. We said that the multimeter is an important tool, an important option in the multimeter, in which we can check many components, because most of them are made up of diodes. Here I will show you a simple way to find a faulty component in an integrated circuit, and the only thing we will need is a multimeter, and the schematic diagram, the pins, that is how I go to the integrated circuit. So I will start with this integrated circuit here to give you an example. It's an LM358, an operational amplifier as we all know. I will find from its data sheet where its power supply goes, and based on that, I will start the measurements with the multimeter. So let's go to the diagram of the operational amplifier. This is the LM358. If we go down to the schematic, after we study it, it is very easy to find it on the internet, the data sheet for every integrated circuit. If we go down, we will see how its pins are connected. Right here exactly, we see how its pins are connected. We're interested in seeing where your power supply is, in this specific one, in four and in eight, four and is eight together, like this. I have observations from my personal experiences that in these two little feet there is the most problem, that is in the integrated ones. And if we go down, we will also see how the rest of the little feet are doing. What is it made of? That is, we see that it's made up of transistors, this specific integrated circuit, and resistors. And if we observe, we will see that in some little foot, there is no resistance from little foot to little foot. So in no little foot, we should not find any indication below 200-200. Where is the minimum we can find in a dyad? So we start counting with the common, the plinth, all the remaining little feet. In the didimeter, we always speak like this. Let's see if we find any indication. We see over here with the plinth, no indication convinces us. We must find if there is a matching indication both from one side and the other, and correctly and inversely. There is usually some small problem, corresponding of course to the data sheet of each module. And now we move on to the sign. Here we see a 116 which is very suspicious, like this. Here a 62 is in good condition, and a 119 which is even more suspicious. We observe a stable sign of the module's power supply, like this. We will now do it in reverse to see. Again with the sign, we put the negative in the sign, and we measure again where we have found the lows. We see in the first one continues at 15, in the second one is gone, so we do not reinforce the fourth leg. And if we remember what the first leg is, we see that it is the amplifier's output. So it is impossible for the positive voltage to be shorted with the amplifier's output, like this. And we see that the same continues on the third leg, as if we have a short circuit over there. The amplifier, I repeat, is that we have it both ways. No matter how we multiply it, we have the same indication. So it's like there is a resistor here. And of course, this is a mistake. No manufacturer would waste two little legs on an integrated circuit to put a resistor in half of them. And especially in this one, which is short-circuited, the input and output together. Let's also look at a counterpart in another integrated circuit. This integrated circuit over here is the NCP1654. It's an oscillator from a power supply like this, PWM as they call it. Here are its legs like this. One and seven are the supplies. One plus seven equals. We will start our measurements from these little feet, like this. We put common, we said plus, and all the rest, or the sum and all the rest. And below we will also see how the block diagram is inside. And we will observe here too that in none of the little feet there is any resistance to say that we will find the same the same measurement, and correctly and inversely, as if to multiply it. Well, let's see it. First we will see the rinse. We will connect the common terminal, which is, let's say, the one little foot always in the two-pole socket, and we will observe that it is okay directly on the first one. On the second one, from the second little foot, we find 001. It's a clean short circuit beyond. So what has happened here? One has short circuited the plus with the common terminal, like this. And if we connect it in reverse, we will see that I have the same indication. You see here, the plus with the common terminal has short-circuited. So in this case, there is no need for me to take any other measurements. Like this, the relay is definitely faulty. And of course, to prove it to you, I will put it on the ohmmeter for you to see it. And with the multimeter, that it will show very low resistance here like this. I put ohms, I measure the supplies again, here goes 1 and 7 and I will see that I have 45 ohms. It's a very small resistance for power supply, so. In this specific cold, I say that I found the damage like this on the circuit, so the power supplies that were on top stuck to me. That's why I took it out and measured it.
but I confirmed it with the diode meter. And if I continue to measure and the little feet, I will see that even at 8 I have 1 ohm. So over here, what does this practically mean that the power supplies are short-circuited? And if I observe the block diagram, it's short-circuited and the drive, it's output. So the isolator has been made over there, the at buffet, as they say over here, has become a whole body. 7, 8, and 1, that is the little feet are short-circuited among them. So I want you to remember that in the completed eggs, we have a reading of 0.200 on the odometer, and correctly, though multiplied and inverted, is suspicious, and it's a warning bell that the integrated is faulty. Well, that was the video for today. For those who liked it, we give likes, we share it so that they can watch it as much as possible. And remember, all my videos are from my personal ventures and measurements and are not fake like that. Have a good time. Greetings to everyone.